minus look A. If I, I'm going to just test this and see if it works because I think that's right. I want to figure out how many, how far I am in tiles. I'm adding one because remember I start at one one, not zero zero, and then I'm subtracting the shift that we have for both of those. Now to make sure this works, form one caption equals selected A and and select. keys are a little bit off versus my normal keyboard on this uh, laptop. And then see as I'm clicking it's showing me the X and Y coordinates of what I've selected and this is 1 1 which is exactly right. But now I need to be able to shift with the arrow here and see that whoop, see how I've gone negative here? By sh I'm, I'm moving to the right, you can't quite tell, but I'm moving to the right and the number's getting smaller instead of bigger. This is supposed to be a plus that'll make all the difference. So that's 1-1, one, one, but if I move to the right a bunch of times, when I click here, it's no longer supposed to be 1-1. One, one. It's now 9-1. Makes a whole lot more sense. There we go. Uh, the whole guess and checking thing happens a lot. Where do I want to save it? Yeah, always save your projects. Um, what's next? Placing stuff. So we can select under key down here. You know, we're, we can place stuff. So if I don't know what the keys are for the number keys along the top, like 1 through 0. So let's do, um, let's just dump what it, so if I select one of these and I push the number 1, it says 49, and then 50, 50, okay. So they start at 49 and they just increase. So I can comment this out. So now I can say if key code equals 49, then tile Select the day and select the B again are the coordinates of what we've done equals one. Because that if I push one I want it to be grass. Let me just copy this stuff out of here. I use colons to string together all my stuff. Just I don't know, habit. So if I push number one with a tile selected, it'll turn it into grass and it'll set the tile A and tile B values. So let's see, there's one for 50, for 51, and for 52. Um, so if I push those keys, it'll turn into different stuff. Land, water, rock, trees. So the first one is land. Second one is water. What are the coordinates for that? One, one. I'm just going to be simple to start with. I'm just going to use the generic, ugly water. Um, coordinates 1, 1 are water. Rock was the last one, which is 0, or next one, one 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is my x coordinate. And then it actually has the same range of, you know, 0 to 2 for rocks. Might as well make it random. Last one was trees. Let's go with the generic single tree to start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 0 was this y coordinate. So, let's see if this works. I click on one, push the number two, it's water. Two, 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 two. Push number three, it's rocks. And notice they do random, and then push number four, and I can click on any one of these and push one and turn it back into grass. And I can scroll. Yay. Now the slight flickering that you see, that's something that we would not see if we were using the bit blit technique, but we're using paint picture, which does not draw quite as fast. So you're able to see it draw. Um, but again, it works, and it's easy to convert over once you, you know, know what you're doing. Maybe I'll go back on a, something else and uh, change that or explain how to do that. Uh, what would be next? We've already done the drawing stuff. We need to do the sprites, like the buildings. So. Buildings, buildings, buildings. We need more variables for that. I, I was debating whether or not in the last video I should go with buildings that took up a single tile, you know, this size. But, you know, in games like Warcraft, the buildings are larger. They take up multiple tiles. So I thought, if, because I said I'm going to make one comparable to Warcraft, I need to do the same thing. So it's a little more complicated, but this, for example, is nine tiles. That's four. So, um, it's going to be a little harder to do. Uh, Say buildings for the number of buildings. Building type. Wait, say 100 buildings max or something. 
um, wait, one equals barracks, two equals main building, three equals farm. I was going to put in a fourth building type to be like the uh, sawmill to make archers, which I really am thinking I should go back and do that, but I'll add it if I've got time. Uh, building type, we've got BA, BB. I use A and B instead of X and Y since X and Y tend to be used by things, so A and B works for me. That's the location where it's at. Uh, B. I'm going to say team. This is the team that it's on. Um, I was going to say building owner and shorten that, but that didn't work out so well in my head before I wrote it. So, you know, for those of you who are paying attention, you can get a laugh out of that. Um, we've got B built. I don't know. Ticks left to complete. Um, when you're building it or constructing it, we've got uh, this is no, you know what? Unit unit being made. The ID of it. Say this is percent one, and then percent two can represent time. I'll say ticks instead of time, but ticks left till he's completed. Uh, I think that's good. So now, under constructing stuff, we've used numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. I guess let's use number 5. So 53, then, I'm going to use a block if for this, just because. Buildings is buildings plus 1. You know, I'm going to say z equals buildings, just so I don't have to type the word buildings a million times. Um, B type is 1 because it's what we've clicked. B team equals 1. You know, like the number 5 on the keyboard is going to represent building this particular building for this team. B A. Wait, oh, I know what I forgot. We have to specify the width and the height of these things because the buildings can all be different sizes. B width and B height. There, that's better. Uh, B width equals three tiles and B height equals three tiles. B A it's um, it's located where we have selected. Makes sense, right? And uh, that's it for now, I guess. Let's see if this works. For draw screen now we have to adjust this. Draw screen needs to do more than just draw the tiles. It needs to also um, loop through the buildings and draw them. And instead of drawing them all, let's do the exact same thing. Only draw it if it would be drawn in between. Now this is, I just have to change my Z's to BA. And I'm basically doing the same thing. Now again, um, if you're paying attention, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense because there is a, the on the right side of the screen it will or the left side of the screen, sorry, it won't draw it if it's, you know, 30 pixels in, because a regular tile is only 30 pixels wide. I need to actually change that um, here, or it would make more sense to change it to account for the different sizes in the buildings, because a building might be, like, 90 pixels wide, but it doesn't draw it because it's 30 pixels off the screen. Technically, you should still be able to see the other 60 pixels. Um, but, don't have time for that right now. Efficiency is out the window right now. So it goes to draw the building. We'll do the same kind of idea. Now, I'm not using transparency on the buildings. So, um, you know, if your ground had different types of ground, like you've got, you know, brown grass and green grass or whatever, when it draws it, it's just going to be this big old block of green grass. Um, you know, we'll, when you see transparency on the units, you'll know how to do it for the buildings if you choose to do so. So we'll do the same idea here. We'll call. hands are getting really cold. We'll pull it from data image. We're going to put it where... Um, that's why I don't have a scroll bar. Uh, 